from the Lowlands of Scotland, Roxburg, Liddesdale, and Tibbetdale. Clan Hall perfected the racket of uh, reaving and profiteering 500 years before the mob discovered it in Chicago. <laughs> Clan Hall Society is glad to be at the old North State. Viva Bavis, Clan Hall. research that I had done myself, we found large numbers of people in the borders that were halls on both sides of the English border. We also found out through historical searching that some of the ones in the borders of Scots would marry the English, the English would marry the Hall, so we ended up with dual alliances and allegiances due to that fact. So we called for a, a, a number of people to come, we sent invitations to them, and we met in Pikeville, Kentucky, which is in eastern Kentucky, up in the mountains at which time, um, with the guidance of Costco, we presented the evidence, which we contacted the Lord Lyon Court in Scotland, who stated that we were a border clan. We started at Pikeville, Kentucky, in our organizational meeting with 23 charter members. The convener then recognized Mr. Dale L. Hall, who submitted a motion that we formally organize the clan hall into a clan society and Mrs. Ruby Hall Lyons then submitted a second to this motion. On motion of Mr. Ronald A. Hall and second by Mr. Dale L. Hall, this new organization shall be called the Clam Hall Society. The Reaver Philosophy. The freebooter ventures both life and limb, good wife and barn, and every other thing. He must do so, or else must starve and die. For all his livelihood comes from the enemy. Border reavers were thieves, cattle rustlers, blackmailers, and extortionists. They were fighting men, skillful in tracking and ambush. This 16th century woodcut from Hollinshed's Chronicle depicts a raid in Northumberland. We see the reavers driving off all the livestock. This type of raid would provoke a similar attack by the people of Northumberland. Hall's ancestral family was very much a part of a strong and powerful reaving society. The Halls were well hated and feared on both sides. The Halls uh, originally came by way of uh, Normandy. Uh, one of the members of William the Conqueror's uh, group that came to England, specifically into Lincolnshire, was Earl Wentworth Fitzwilliams. The Earl had the titles, and he had a younger brother by the name of Arthur, who in 1070 was given the name of Hall. He, he and his descent and his descendants and his progeny, due to the fact that he had um, amassed a large fortune, a large amount of um, prestige in the community, to the point where Earl uh, Wentworth was just about the same as he was in importance. So, in order to distinguish the two brothers they started using the name of Hall, and to this day there's some of them that are using the name Fitzwilliams hyphen Hall. We found out that at around 1090 AD, the King of Scotland had invited some Halls to migrate northward. The location uh, of the Clan Hall in Scotland was in the area of Otterburn and Reddesdale on the English side of the border. They were a border clan, border family. And on the Scottish side was Tividale, Lettisdale, and Roxburghshire. The Halls, being a border clan, naturally had some allegiances and alliances on both sides of the English and Scottish border. Clan Hall!
For over 900 years, the family of Hall has grown from Norman, Scottish, and Anglo-Saxon origins to be found around the world. The ancestral past as Border Reavers has given us the strength to be men and women of faith, science, politics, military, and the arts. Each year, the Clan Hall Society celebrates who we have been and who we have become at many of the Scottish Highland Games where we are represented. Be personable. When you go out to the game festivals and when you meet the Scottish community, you meet people in general, there's more people have Scots blood than they would realize. And be as friendly with them as you can be. Encourage them to be interested in their culture, research their generations, their families, document it, and be proud of the fact that you're a Scot.